Hi, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to Ozarks Live. Thank you for joining yeah, us. Yeah, good to have you it. here for sure on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have a nice weekend? I did have a nice weekend. Saw you Friday night. Yes, we went to the, the Beer and Burger Wars. The Beer and Burger Wars deal at the Mr. Moontown Nick's. Crossing yeah. up at, to, to benefit Mr. Nick's Playground up at uh, McAdoodles on the north side. Really neat venue. Nice place. Yeah, it's a really yeah, nice I, place. I had never been great. there before and, and uh, just not wood woodwork, all that sort of stuff. That yeah, is. yeah, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday, uh, my husband's got an eight, um, and I sort of say an ATM. Oh, don't I wish an ATV? <laughs> we just have a couple of ATMs laying around. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell yeah, the police. I um, know. Yeah, but we took the ATV out for a while, and that was fun. We went out and part of the Mark Twain National Forest and rode all around. And really? Yeah. So that was really very different for us. You know, we haven't had it out in a long time, but that was fun. Very dusty. We, yeah. Take wet wipes when you do that. I, I would imagine I so. You look like you've gotten a bunch of sun. You know, I was out in the sun. Um, we did that, but I, I just, word of the wise, I may be still dust covered. Maybe this is my dusty <laughs> look. Is that what it is? Um, I'm still wiping dust out of my purse for whatever reason. I decided I would not leave it in the car and go ahead and take it in the, R, in the, the RV. Now I'm saying RV, the uh, little ATV, but ATV. it dust went everywhere i mean we all looked like we'd been in a i don't know it was sounds a like you should be in a rodeo <laughs> dusty roberts it looked like it anyway it was fun so that was fun yeah what'd well, you do um I, I went to play a little golf on on sunday that that's always good good saturday i did one of the, you know you know how a lot of times headlights on cars they get oxidized they get real filmy mm -hmm. foggy mm -hmm. i did a bunch of elbow grease tried to get that stuff out and some of it is gone but it's still there but uh, that was a lot more energy than I really wanted to spend sitting in the sun did you google hacks for that because it runs in my mind there are things I've done that are supposed to yeah uh, mayonnaise uh, or something all this kind of stuff yeah coca-cola something like that I it, don't know coca-cola but no it didn't work so I went really? and I got something that is made by turtle wax i figure if they don't know how to do something nobody like this, does nobody. yeah and they've got a bunch of it off but there's still a little left and it's it's still a lot cheaper than spending a couple hundred bucks for each headlight to replace it man you you are one exciting guy tom i, I no know how idea. to live and then if that wasn't enough i then i mowed the lawn <laughs> <laughs> I did the same See, thing. I did mow, yeah, <laughs> mow the lawn. And, you know, the work needs to be done. But yeah, we are exciting folks, aren't we? Don't say it. We just are. By yeah. the way, can I just? I just am now noticing the beautiful flowers from those mean? flowers. Aren't those pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this flowers new. always does a good job. Yeah, they do. I like this. I love that vase. That's really pretty. Yeah, How did I just now cool. notice those? Because I'm so caught up in my own. Little I think that's probably we're both. We have these exciting stories of drudgery to tell. Clearly. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a great show for you. Of course, we're going to be talking to, to folks from the Brands and Arts Council. Right? Yes, we are. We're going to be talking to them, um, and a performance as well. Yes. And Tom is going to be taking us back in time with Turn Back in Time. But before we get to it, we're going to show you what is on the radar. All right. I am sitting home on Saturday night. I'm seeing on Twitter that New York City blackout. And I'm thinking, really? Like a blackout? So I start reading. Yep. And all of a sudden, I realize for sure there is a big old blackout in New York City. I'm texting some friends that live there. Some of them are not in the city, and they're like, what? Yeah. No, what's going on? I said, well, your power may be out, you know, just so you know. But so I start thinking about all the things happening on a Saturday night in New York City because it's a busy place to be any time. Yeah. But you think of a Saturday night in the summer, and I mean, there's going to be people Outside. all over. Yeah. Out to dinner, going to Broadway shows, all of these things that they go to. Well, I don't know if you saw it, but yeah, a lot of people were brought to a standstill. This is inside Madison Square Garden. Jennifer mm -hmm. Lopez, J-Lo, this is the second night of a two-night gig there, brought to a screeching halt, um, which is too bad because think of all the people that came into the city, flew there, whatever, just to see her. And then all of a sudden she has to go on her social media and apologize to fans. Here she is. She said, y'all, I had to cancel the show. I am so Sorry, yeah. but fans on the lower right, you see sitting in the dark, hoping maybe she'll come back. I mean, it's too bad. By the way, I saw in Vanity Fair, I saw on their website that she's rescheduled for tonight. So if we oh. really hurry, we can make it. We might be able to make it. 
But I mean, think of all the people truly who got a hotel, you know, Saturday nights, fine, it's a weekend, and then all of a sudden, can you do a beam me up kind of thing? That may be the great. only reason. Yeah. Because you know there are some people who couldn't stay over. That's so sad. No, um, no. Anyway. And she was. She was heartbroken. I saw the video. Yeah, she was apologizing. sorry. I mean, but she was about 30 minutes into her show, and then just yeah. boom, the lights go out, and some people think it's part of the show, and then other people go, no, there's something wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but Broadway, think about it. You've waited all year. You've saved up mm -hmm. your money. You have tickets to Hamilton. Ain't you have tickets cheap. to The Lion King. You have tickets to Aladdin. And then all of a sudden, there's no show. Well, let me show you what happened outside of some of these theaters in New York City. This is, among others, let's see, the cast of Waitress, Rock of Ages, Hades Town, and others took to the sidewalk to do numbers from their shows, a cappella. Some of them, Hades Town, actually brought some, some instruments out. Yep. They sang and played music to thousands of people cramming the streets in and around Broadway. 26 shows were shut down. Six power sectors in New York City and Manhattan lost electricity due to this malfunction. But these people on the street, and to their credit, the performers said, you know what? Let's just take it outside. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, if you can't see and you're one of those big old dark theaters, there's just nothing you could do. But I, my hat's off to them. Yeah. Did what they had to do. It's Broadway. You got to have something happen. The show must go on. It yeah. absolutely must. There's another thing you need to look at when you're talking about the power outages in New York. There are couples. Well, here, let me let me talk about this one. It 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 was a couple who likely paid a fortune to have their wedding at the Plaza Hotel. I, I've heard about this. Unreal. Yeah, and this this one's been kind of making the rounds. Uh, Amy Rosenthal and Craig Silverstein wed Saturday night, 42 years to the day. Yeah. Yeah, after the blackout they had in 77, 77 for I think it was. 25 hours. So this one's around the same time length. It's a historic right? New York day. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Lights went out right after the bride walked down the aisle. No kidding. But the wedding went on, and look look at a wedding photo. Yeah, look at the wedding photo snapped by the bride's brother. Uh-huh. Just look. Look at this. This is, a, this is a night to remember. The iconic Plaza Hotel's dark, which makes the, the couple stand out even more. So, you know, New what Yorkers, resilient. Yeah, and then here's inside at the Plaza Hotel. Somebody took this picture and takes, texted it to their friend, and then they posted it on their Twitter and their Instagram, and they said, look, the lights went out yeah. everywhere, but look at all the candlelit tables inside the plaza. And they said it was almost more romantic. You know, the band played I'll bet it anyway. Was. I'll bet it was. They just played all the instruments that didn't require any electricity, so uh -huh. they just did the best they could. And I thought that was a really neat way for the city to sort of rally. Got one more thing to show you if yeah. you haven't seen it already. Okay. There is a director who lives um, right across, let's see if I can figure out where this is. It looks like this would be the East River into New Jersey. Okay. And he is all the time posting on his social media cityscapes of New York City, right? Joseph DiGiovanna um, on his Instagram, NYC Timescape. Here is, you see the lights going on and off? Here is a time lapse of the blackout in Manhattan and then the lights coming back on again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you watch it, you know, he gets to see this beautiful skyline every night and show it to the rest of us. But on that particular night, boom, look what happened. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that is cool. But imagine being in the heart of Manhattan and it's lights out. That would be more than a little disconcerting to have that happen to you. Yep. But anyway, I thought that was a neat time lapse. So that is. People rallied. They did the best they could. I mean, they made the best of it. But, oh, God bless the people caught in elevators. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I you can imagine, imagine how hot it would get in there oh, yeah, in yeah. the middle of the city. Well, if you're, you're in New York in July. It's going to be it's warm. It's going to be hot anyway. Yeah. The best circumstances. Yeah. All right. For those of you who love music, you're in luck because we've got a performance coming up from the folks at the Branson Arts Council you don't want to miss. Yep, good stuff. We'll be right back.